in the previous lecture we talked about uh, extendable hashing in this in this lecture we talk about linear hashing which is another dynamic hashing algorithm uh, the main difference here is that uh, in the extendable hashing we have observed that a directory of pointers is used whereas in this case linear hashing no directory of pointers are used instead of that uh, it uses a family of hash functions and uh, it uh, dynamically adjusts itself to the requirement it grows and shrinks according to the requirements and uh, a family of hash functions are used in this case each uh, hash function uh, doubles the range than its predecessor and uh, again it's based on a modulo value hi of uh, if hi is a hash function of at ith level hi of value is computed as uh, uh, h of value modulo 2 power i multiplied with n so the hash value computed at the earlier stage is um, now it is doubled uh, the range is doubled because of the family of hash functions and um, the it, uh, the previous extendable hashing has a problem of uh, collision where if the number of uh, hash values that are generated for a particular bucket is more in case of skewed distribution as we have seen in the last uh, discussion uh, there is a problem of uh, overflow chains so to and uh, another another thing is the pointers set of pointers the directory is maintained which is a overhead so uh, to avoid all these things a linear hashing is proposed the computation of hash values is similar to the extendable hashing uh, here di indicates a parameter uh, the number of uh, bits that we have to consider uh, for, for a particular hash function and at uh, level ith level if hi is the function and da is the number of last number of uh, bits to be considered from the last and uh, hi plus one in case of hi plus one hash function we will consider di plus one is the number of uh, bits to be considered this is how we can uh, increase the range we will see an example how actually we can increase the ranges as an example if we consider uh, the value of n to be 4 at the beginning and uh, d naught is obviously 2 because 2 power 2 is 4 and uh, d, that means the length of the binary string that we look at from the end is 2, 2 digits and the corresponding hash function to start with h naught is uh, h modulo 4 um, so we will compute uh, the range of the uh, values from 0 to 3 so 4 values are there and the next level is d1 d1 is d0 plus 1 so length will become 3 so that uh, h1 now it becomes h modulo 2 into 4 because it's twice length is double I mean, length is increased the range is doubled so this is how we will uh, increase the range in each level for the hash functions to look at and um, here is an example uh, where uh, level h0 and level h1 are considered actually they are not stored unlike in the extensible, extendable hashing these are not stored anywhere just they are computed on the go so we are not storing any that anywhere only primary pages are there to start with and uh, initially we consider h0 so four pages are there and uh, each one of them has a depth of four and the level is an indication level zero is a starting level here we use one more parameter next next indicates whether the page has been split or not if a page is split next is incremented and moved down and that means uh, the pages which are above the next are split already split and pages which are below that are not are yet to be split so they are unsplit pages and uh, h0 level h0 indicates the range of uh, at that uh, uh, h0 level and uh, level h1 indicates the range at uh, first level so obviously at uh, h1 the range is doubled eight values are considered at h0 only four values are considered and buckets are split during rounds uh, one by one during uh, the level is an indication uh, each level indicates one round and uh, buckets are split one by one during a particular round if required the two if, uh, if the capacity is full and this is how the primary pairs are built with the starting uh, index or uh, h naught values once the pages are built to set a key value we may start with h naught and uh, compute the 
key value based on the hash function h naught if this leads to one of the unsplit buckets if the hash value leads to one of the unsplit buckets then we can search the key value in that in that page or which are page the pages which are linked to it if it is uh, indicating a split bucket if it indicates to a split bucket it's an indication that already that page has been split and either the record may be there or in the split page so to identify the split page we will uh, in, uh, increase the level of hash hash function and we compute h level plus one hash value on the key value so that to identify the bucket the split bucket where it is existing still again if it is that is also split again we have to increase the level but at any point of time we use only two levels uh, h level and h level plus one so either it is on in the unsplit bucket or it is only in the split bucket so we can use the these two levels to identify the given key value in a, through a search in building the linear hashing we start with the uh, level zero uh, with, uh, we'll start with a fixed starting number n say 4 in this case uh, we start with 4 we'll have 4 pages and each page may contain 4 records according to the capacity of the page and uh, we initialize the parameter level as 0 0th level and n is equal to 4 and the one parameter is uh, indicated as next next indicates to the 0 because uh, we next indicates the splitting uh, page so initially no splitting is done so next is set as 0 indicating to the first page um, of the record and then uh, initial level level of uh, h0 and h1 are the initial uh, levels to start with the hash functions as described in the previous slides so now once we initialize uh, we can keep on inserting the values uh, for example, if uh, nothing is there, if all the pages are empty, then if I want to include 32, I'll calculate the H0 value, hash value. And I'll, uh, since every page is empty, I can insert H2, H2 according to the last two digits of the hash value, it is inserted into the first page. Like this, 32, 44, 36, 9, 25, 5, all these numbers can be inserted because space is there, nothing is filled by the time. Now once a stage may come where a particular page is already filled for example in this case the fourth page uh, by this time four values are filled 31 35 7 and 11 they are all filled now at this stage if i want to insert 43 and if i compute the last two digits i'll get 11 uh, but uh, the page is already full so now at this stage what we do is uh, we need to split the pages but the next pointer next is set as zero and it is pointing to the zero so we split the first page into two parts a bucket page zero and one more split page is added uh, but this 43 cannot be inserted there this 43 has to be inserted in a, a page which is attached to the existing page or a overflow page rather so we'll add an overflow page for the fourth page and 43 is included there because the last two digits are 1 1 but this insertion or uh, insertion of a new page will prompt a split in the existing page though insertion is not at that page but we are splitting that page because this insertion is triggering a split um, so one more page is added since level 00, 0 is now split into two parts so the newly created pages and the existing page together should have the increased hash values so one page existing page will have 0 0 0 that means one zero is appended to the left of 0 0 and one zero zero so uh, two zeros at the end will remain same but one is added at the appended at the left side so a new hash function h1 is uh, is needed to compute the values so that the length of the binary string now we have to consider for these two pages is 3 so hash function h1 is used now the page has been split into 2 next value is incremented and uh, next becomes 1 so it's an indication that at next is equal to 0 the page is unsplit level I mean stage when next is moved to 1 it points to the first page and 0th page is already split so it indicates the stage the pages which are already split and which are yet to be split 
this is how we will uh, increment the next value. Here again uh, observe that the new addition of 43 at the fourth page is not solving our problem. We are adding we are adding it to the overflow page. But that addition is creating a split. Uh, this is how we will adjust. In the, in the later course of time we can adjust the values but this will initiate a split. Sometimes what happens is the page where we have to insert the uh, value may be pointing to the next itself then we can split the page and readjust. Also in this case also once we split the pages the values need to be readjusted. So if you look at the example here 32 will remain there in the first uh, page because 0, triple 0, 0, 0, 0 is the last string that uh, for binary string of the hash value. Whereas uh, 44 and 36, the, the last three digits are 100. So 44 and 36 are relocated, re distributed into the last page, newly created uh, page, and uh, 33 will remain, 32 will remain there. So this is how the page, page is split and values are redistributed. But the 43, which was originally added, is added as a overflow page in this case. This is how the split mechanism will uh, start. Now, if you keep on adding the pages, if you keep on adding the uh, entries, you may come to a stage where next will reach the last value. So then what happens? Even after splitting the last one, last page, again next has to revert back to zero and the level which is existing at zeroth level now will become level one so that the hash functions now we consider will become h1 and h2 instead of h0 and h1 because h0 is no more useful for us already we have crossed that stage since all the pages are split once all the pages are split four pages becomes eight so h0 is not useful now h1 and h2 are useful now so at any point of time two hash functions will be used so once all the pages split then we need to have h1 pointing to the 8 pages and h2 will come into picture which will uh, be needed to uh, go to the split pages at that level 1. This is how we will increment the levels and uh, the next values and the uh, hash functions. This is how we will proceed in uh, splitting the pages. So in continuation of the last slide uh, here we can observe that the level has been increased to 1 because all the 8 uh, pages are filled or redistributed values are redistributed into 8 pages all the pages have been split eight, into 8 pages and uh, now uh, in this level h1 h2 are the hash functions that we need to look for and next value is set as 0 because it has gone back to 0 again once complete cycle is uh, filled uh, so here the advantage is that we are not uh, maintaining any overheads in the form of uh, directories though the level h1 h0 are seen here they are not uh, actual directories they are not stored anywhere but they are only computed on the go only pages are there which are linked together and uh, overflow pages if at all required are there so in a way this reduces the burden of overheads and it, it adjusts automatically the space utilization is more better than the previous ones but still here one more problem remains of uh, overflow pages in case of skewed distributions. Suppose if uh, next value is, is uh, incremented as it grows, if you keep on adding the overflow pages at one particular location, though the split is in, I mean, initiated, overflow pages will remain and the redistribution may take much more time. So until such time the overflow chains will keep on maintaining and that is also going to create a problem if the data is very much skewed. Except that this linear hashing is a very uh, useful one and a dynamic uh, one which adjusts to the data dynamically.